everybody, welcome back to another episode of Metro Mania. It's your boy, Ace Trainer Liam. I do. Last week, we confirmed that Leon would be the one taking on Cynthia in the semi-finals after he absolutely trounced Alan at the very last minute. Of course, now we're looking at the antagonist side of the bracket. We're trying to find out who's going to be representing evil in the future. So let's find out who goes to the semi-finals. Is it going to be Cyrus? Is it going to be Archie? Here we go. So Archie is beginning with Mighty Anna and Weezing. And of course, there's Saturn's Toxicroak. And bloody Houndoom for Cyrus. Of course, the Intimidate from the Mighty Anna is going to lower the attack of Houndoom and Toxicroak from the word go there. As Houndoom starts things off with a hold back, which is not going to do a great deal of damage, but nice to start off with a bit of chip damage. Here comes Toxicroak now for Cyrus' side. Going for Earthquake. That's going to damage everybody in the field not called Weezing or Toxicroak, because Weezing has Levitate. Super effective damage into Houndoom, though. Not the wisest of starts from Cyrus there. And now Mighty Anna is going to go for Glare. I love the move, Glare. I wish more Pokemon. Actually, I I'm glad more Pokemon don't get it, to be honest, having thought about it. Great move. 100% paralysis, and because it's not an electric type move, it can hit ground types. Let's go. So Houndoom is fully paralyzed. Belly Drum from Weezing. How are you going to be do Belly Drum? What are you doing it with? You've got no hands. In fact, you've not even got a belly. How are you Belly Drumming? Okay, fair play. It's a metronome battle, Liam. Relax. Here's a little bit of malice. Oh, we lack a bit of malice, we do. And for into Weezing, dropping the attack by one stage. The signature move of Hisui and Zoro are coming out from Toxicroak there. And here's Mighty Enna with an outrage into Houndoom. And we have a knockout already. Turn two, and Houndoom is out of there, my dude. Thanks in part to Toxicroak. But that outrage is going to continue for, for one or two more turns. You should hit subscribe so you never miss one or two more Metromanias. Maybe I'll do more than that. Who knows? The world's my oyster. Turn on all notifications as well because YouTube is sometimes screwy. And tell your friends to subscribe. Here, that Horn Leech from Weezing, not really doing much into a, uh, you know, into a Pokemon that resists it. Here's Toxicroak as Skuntank enters the field for Cyrus. Not very effective Poison Fang from Toxicroak into uh, Weezing there. And now Skuntank with its first move of this battle. It's going to go for Play Rub. Again, not very effective into Weezing, but could drop it attack one stage, I believe? Does Play Rough do that? Can't remember. And Skuntank eating that damage right up there. Little cheeky bit of chip damage. And now uh, Mighty Edit is confused as a result of the Outrage ending. And here comes Weezing now with Flame Wheel into a Dry Skin Toxicroak. See you later. Toxicroak is down. Cyrus is well on the back foot right now as Weavile enters the fray. What can Weavile do here? I mean, a Belly Drum Flame Wheel. That's disgusting. Uh, here comes Weavile now starting off the next turn with Luna Dance. That knocks itself out. Oh, my word. What an idiot. So down goes Weavile. There's no one in the back that needs healing. That That's just a knockout. Well done, Cyrus. Here's Skuntank, though. What's it going to do as the follow-up? You're going to knock yourself out? Goes for Dig. Let's hope that's into the Mighty Anna. My word. Well, on that lovely note, Mighty Anna is fully confused, I believe. It's not fully confused. You're a liar. I didn't know. I took a guess. It's going to ignore the confusion and go for Moonlight. What a great play. That's the Lunar Dance you want to do. Moonlight, restore your HP back up to full. What's Weezing going to do here? It's going to go for Future Sight and prep for a future move. Do you know what? Let's hear from our lovely sponsors now. Allow me real quick to help pay my bills by talking to you lovely people about our channel's wonderful sponsor of the last four years and counting, G Fuel! G Fuel, as you know, is that wonderful energy formula with barely any calories, zero sugar, and a whole heap of wonderful flavors like the absolutely fantastic Naruto Sage Mode that I'm drinking today. That's pomelo, orange, and white peach. It's absolutely bloody banging. Sage Mode might be one of the best flavors they've got going. It is friggin' amazing. And what's even more amazing is you can use our channel's code code ACE to save yourself 20% off your G Fuel order. That's a whole one-fifth off the price. And if you're in the UK like me, that normally cancels out the shipping and the taxes. So you're basically just getting your drinks for like 80 cents a serving. It's really friggin' good saving, especially when you convert to UK money because 80 cents is like, what, 60p? It's great. Thank you in advance to everybody that uses code ACE because it really is, I'm not mincing my words, it is the single best way to support this channel. Oh, and I've got to say, if you get Sage Mode in the powder form that you use in your shaker with water, or if you get the can form, my word, you can't miss. It is such a good flavor. Remember, though, G Fuel is for over 18s only because it contains caffeine and children don't need to be anywhere near caffeine. They're annoying enough as it is. And because it contains caffeine, drink it responsibly. Don't be a dickhead, dickhead. 
And this battle continues with Honchcrow entering the field for Cyrus, who is trailing right now. Cyrus is having a real rough time. Skuntank's dig goes into the Weezing slot, so Weezing's Levitate protects it there. Not a good showing. Cyrus has lost three Pokemon already. Honchcrow, though, going for cut into Weezing. Do remember, Weezing is at plus six attack right now, I believe. Uh, Mightyena is confused still as a result of that earlier outrage, but is going to completely ignore it once again. Goes for Simple Beam. Going to change Honchkrow's ability to Simple, so no more Insomnia. Honchkrow now can be put to sleep, but any stat changes it has will be doubled. That's the beauty of Simple. And here comes Weezing now with Lock On onto the Honchkrow there. Wants to make sure that it isn't going to miss any attacks into the Honchkrow. Here comes Skuntank now. What's Skuntank going to do here? It's going to go for a snipe shot into Weezing. Takes it out. Big threat gone from the field. Finally, a good play by Cyrus's team there. That snipe shot, shades of Intellion. Uh, uh, unbelievable scenes right there. We have Honchkrow, though, going for Steel Roller with no terrain in effect. You'll love to see it. So that's a failed move. And now Mightyena ignores the confusion. So it doesn't hit itself in confusion at all this battle. Unbelievable scenes. Goes for Stuffed Cheeks. So it's going to raise its defense by two stages and restore its... It's PP of Metronome back up to maximum. Haha, <laughs> PP, very funny. Skuntank takes the earlier Future Sight attack, but unfortunately, it is a Dark type, so Future Sight does nothing. Crawdorn enters the field uh, in place of Sharpedo, who's not in the game, for Archie. We see Tearful Luck, though, onto the uh, onto the Crawdorn. They're going to drop its attack by one stage and its special attack by one stage. Not great for Crawdorn going forward. We'll have to see it can mount some kind of offense in spite of that. Here's a Volt Tackle, though, from Hunchcrow into Crawdorn. Well, uh, forget what I was saying about Crawdorn. It is gone. Hodgecrow takes it out completely. It's going to take some recoil damage, but honestly, it wasn't a bad trade at all there for Cyrus. The big play is coming out now. Mighty Anna is going to go for Sword Dance. It recognizes it needs to start putting out more offense. Raises its attack stat by two stages. Here comes Tatsugiri for Archie now. What's it going to do? How's it going to play into this battle? Is it ever going to make it into the mouth of that Dondozo? Here we see Harden from the Skun Tank there, raising its defense by one stage. Over to Tatsugiri now for its first attack of this uh, battle. It's going to go for Wonder Room and swap everybody's defense and special defense stats. And honestly, someone in the comments let me know how that relates to the Pokemon on the field. Because I don't know their defense and special defense stats. And I'm not going to try and work it out. Here's a Cosmic Power though. From Honchkrow, raising its defense by two stages, and its special defense by two stages because of that simple beam from earlier. May you got to be regretting that simple beam. Here's Thunder, though, and it's not going to land into the Skun Tank from Mightyena there. And now Skun Tank, speaking of, gets to use a move. It's going to go for Payday for some simple chip damage into Tatsugiri there. So not a bad play at all. Here comes Tatsugiri now, ready once again. It's going to go for Tachyon Cutter, Shades of Iron Crown there. Two Steel type hits, critical hit there, into Honchcrow. Two hits. Lovely. I mean, that's what it does. It always does two hits, mate. It's lovely for chipping away at people that are weak to uh, steal, which Honchcrow isn't. Uh, and there we have the Leah dropping the defense by one stage on both Tatsugiri and Mightyena from the Honchcrow. And here comes Mightyena looking to respond with Waterfall into the Skun Tank there. Probably would have done more damage if Skuntank wasn't a plus one defense. Well done, Skuntank, for that earlier uh, defense curl. Was it defense curl or was it withdraw? Same thing. Judgment into Tatsugiri. Doesn't do a great deal of damage there, but any damage is better than no damage. As Tatsugiri looks to respond and it's going to go for Axe Kick. But it misses, which means it's going to take half of its HP and recoil damage. It's now in the danger zone. That's not good for Archie's Tatsugiri. That's a worry right there. Here comes Honchkrow with a Tachyon Cutter of its own into Mighty Enna there. Not a great deal of damage dealt, but it's still damage. And Mighty Enna is trying to stay on the field as much as it can. Not doing the best. Goes for triple arrows into Honchkrow. Honchkrow goes down, so those stat boosts were all for naught. Of course, that was a plus two triple arrows from Mighty Anna there. And now we see our Chaladon join the field, the Dialga stand-in for uh, Cyrus. Obviously, Dialga is in the game, but like, we're not having legendaries in this because it'd be broken and you'd all, you'd all cry at me. Plus, it's nice for them to have a, a, a Paldean Pokemon, isn't it? Uh, here's a wing attack, though, taking out Tatsugiri from the Skun Tank there. Tatsugiri goes down. Maxi still has the Pokemon advantage. Not Maxi? Oh, that's offensive. March, Marchy? Archie! Oh, my word. Archie still has the Pokemon advantage. Three to two. Skun Tank avoids the attack there. 
from the Mighty Anna as Muck joins the field for Archie. Here's Rap though, which is going to damage Mighty Anna at the end of each turn, slowly but surely wearing away its HP uh, from the Archaladon there. Here comes Skuntank now, and it's going to go for Parabolic Charge. That's a great play right there, because it hits everybody on the field, but it's resisted by Archaladon, which means Archaladon is going to get a stamina boost from that, but it's also going to restore some HP to Skuntank there from each of the opponents it's hit there. So that's a really great play on that Parabolic Charge. Good shout from our good friend Skuntank there. Great play. And here comes Mighty Enna now. What's it going to do? It's going to go for String Shot and lower the attack stat of both opponents by two stages apiece. Honestly, not enough people are using String Shot in competitive. I am taking... A, uh, I'm, I'm taking string shot to EUIC, I tell you now. Here's Forest Curse, though, from Muck into the uh, the Skuntank there. So Skuntank is now a poison, dark, and grass type. So it's got it's, it's added a, an ice, a fire, and a flying weakness for sure to Skuntank there. And, of course, the wrap damage taking its effect on Mightyena, who's going to go for sure up, though. What a great response to having that wrap damage, raising your HP back up by 50%. Great play. Well, 50% of maximum, not 50% of what you had. Here's a Razor Shell resisted by Archaladon, but more importantly, gives that stamina boost to Archaladon once again. I believe it's a plus two right now. I'm trying to keep count. Razor Shell did have a chance to lower defense, but it did not happen. Sword Stance, this Archaladon is getting scary. Cyrus now means business. This man has found his win condition, and its name is Archaladon. Here comes Skuntank with our hold back for some chip damage into the muck there. And there's more wrap damage into to Mighty Enna. What's going to happen now as Mighty Enna prepares to begin the next turn? Goes for Eerie Impulse, lowering the special attack of Skuntank by two stages. Uh, I was going to say two stages apiece, but Skuntank's the only one being hit by it. So just just, just two stages on Skuntank. Here's a Bitter Malice. Oh, we do love a Bitter Malice. Into our Chaladon, bringing it down to minus, uh, to, to just plus one attack now. It went down, it went up plus two. Now it's at minus one, but it's now at plus three defense. So uh, watch out, Muck. Here's a Fire Blast from our Chaladon into Mighty Anna. Takes it down. It's now just two Pokemon for Archie, two Pokemon for Cyrus. It's anybody's game right now. Now, to be the first antagonist to go through to the quarterfinals of this season. Uh, sorry, semifinals. This is the quarterfinals. Crab Hammer, though, misses from Skuntank. Muck happily avoiding it. And here comes the big boy. Here comes Don Dozo for Archie's side. Archie's final Pokemon, also standing in for Kyogre, OBS. Uh, there's the Psy Shield Bash, which does not affect Skuntank. Good thing you didn't use it into Archaladon, though, and raise its stamina even more. Scratch from Dondozo, chipping away at Skuntank now, who looks to respond. What will it do? It's going to go for high horsepower into Dondozo, chipping away. You know, turnabout is fair play, I suppose. And here is Archaladon, looking very scary, going for Psychic Terrain. So any priority moves that actually go through will be blocked. So any bullet punches, things like that, will be blocked by the uh, the Psychic Terrain there. And of course, Psychic-type moves are powered up for grounded Pokemon, which is everybody. Here's Sweet Scent, though, from Muck. Going to lower the evasiveness of both of these Pokemon by two stages. Not enough Sweet Scent being used in competitive. I'm telling you now, someone bring Sweet Scent. And here's Don Dozo, who's going to go for Heal Pulse. That's a bad move right there. Into Archaladon. So now, this plus three defense Archaladon with plus one attack is at is at full HP. Shift gear from the Skun Tank. They're going to raise its speed by two stages and its attack by one. Reminder, don't use Dragon Dance on Cyclozar. Use shift gear because it's plus two speed instead of plus one. Uh, and you still get a plus one attack. Here's double kick from our Chaladon into Muck there for two nice bits of chip damage onto the Muck. Uh, I believe Muck will be the next one to move. No, Skuntank. My apologies. Skuntank will be the next to move to follow up on its allies' move. Goes for Metal Burst, but hasn't taken any damage, so that's not going to deal any damage at all there. And now we have Muck with its response. It's going to go for Slam for not very effective damage into Archaladon, but more importantly, yet another stamina boost. I believe it's now at plus four. I've probably lost count, but I think it's plus four. Here comes Dondoso with a Volt Tackle into Skuntank. Not enough to take it down because of its defense boosts and a little bit of recoil damage into Dondozo as well. Here comes our Chaladon now for Cyrus with a Poison Tail looking to poison the Dondozo there. Didn't do much damage, didn't get the poison either. So now Skuntank needs to follow up. Goes for a Boom Burst. That's going to hit not very effective damage on our Chaladon and give it yet another stamina boost. I believe that is plus five. It may be plus 
six. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's at least plus five. For sure. Infernal Parade into Archaladon. Not a great deal of damage done, but there it is. There's the sixth stamina boost. I was right all along. I should never doubt me. I'm incredible, aren't I? Tell me how incredible I am in the comments. Uh, here's Focus Blast, though, from Dondozo. And it says, I don't care about your plus six defense. What about your special defense, my guy? Huge super effective damage. Magma Storm coming out from Archaladon there. It, it, it's avoided by the opponent. Archie's sitting pretty. Here comes Skuntank with a nuzzle, though, into Dondozo. That could be detrimental going forward as it paralyzes the Dondozo, leaving it, I believe, the slowest thing on the field now. Uh, possibly unable to attack further. Skuntank has officially been on the field for 10 turns. Well done, Skuntank. Can we get some well done Skuntanks in the comments? And Earthquake, though, is super effective on Skuntank and Archaladon. Skuntank is down, but of course Archaladon is at plus 6 defense, so it hangs on, but Archaladon is in a difficult position right here. It kind of needs a miracle right now. What's it going to do? Goes for Clanging Scales, which is a spread move. Takes down Dondozo. Loses one stage of defense. It's now at plus 5. Oh dear, how sad for our Chaladon to be at plus five defense. The uh, the psychic terrain has disappeared. It's all down to Muck and a plus five defense our Chaladon with plus one attack. Speaking of plus one attack, Muck is going to hone its claws, going to raise its attack by one stage and its accuracy. But you really need to be going on the offensive, my dude. That is a big bad threat right in front of you. Our Chaladon goes for Water Spout, but its HP is low, so it won't do a great deal of damage. Muck eating that right up, or I guess drinking that right up. What will Muck do? here. It's anybody's game right now. Goes for Burning Jealousy, and it lands, and Archaladon with the critical hit is down. That was neck and neck as Archie makes it through to the semi-finals. It's the first antagonist. It may be, uh, he may be representing evil in the final, but I guess we need to find out because he's going to have to have an opponent in a couple of weeks' time, and it's either going to be Getsis or it's going to be Luzamine. Thank you as always to our wonderful Ace Trainer Ultra XL members, Bro Metapod, Purple Dragonair, Toy Bonnie, Gear Overlord, Mumbai Cobra, Night Angel, Gamer Guy Mike, Cap Rider, Blue Malamu, and Bogey Taker. This channel would not exist without you. And of course, don't forget, guys, go to gfuel.com, use code ACE to save money and to support the channel. And until next time, I'm Ace Trainer Liam. I'm the best. Keep on training.